Smile and learn. Hey friends, today we're gonna talk about light. Yes, light. Have you ever thought about it? Did you know that light is a form of energy and that thanks to it, we can see objects using our sense of sight? Follow me to uncover many interesting facts about light. Light comes from natural or artificial light sources. One example of a natural light source is the sun. And one example of an artificial light source is a lighthouse. As I said before, light is a form of energy and we call it luminous or light energy. Light energy can be transformed into other forms of energy such as electricity or heat. For example, solar panels can store light energy and convert it into electricity to run household appliances or to heat water for showers. Did you know that light travels in a straight line and in many directions at 186,000 miles per second? This is known as the speed of light and it is a unit of measurement to calculate the distance between two very distant points such as the distance between planets. We can both see objects that emit light and those that reflect it. Each object is composed of different materials that behave differently with light, and these can be transparent, translucent, and opaque. Transparent materials allow light to pass through them, allowing us to clearly see objects behind them. Glass is an example of a transparent material. Translucent materials are those that partially allow light to pass through, preventing us from seeing clearly what is behind them. For example, curtains. Finally, opaque materials are those that do not allow light to pass through and therefore do not let you see what is behind them such as a wooden door. We have learned some very interesting facts about light, haven't we? See you soon! I'll tell you more about light next time! Bye! Hey friends! Today we're going to continue learning more facts about light. Do you know that light has many properties? Come with me to learn more. Let's start by talking about the main properties of light which are reflection and refraction. Reflection. It occurs when light rays called incident rays collide with an object and later when these rays bounce in another direction, they are called reflected rays. We can differentiate between two types of reflection, specular and diffuse reflection. When every incident ray is reflected in the same direction, specular reflection occurs. This property allows us to see ourselves reflected in a mirror or shiny surface. I look great today! <laughs> However, when rays are reflected in different directions, this is called diffuse reflection which is what allows us to differentiate some objects from others so we can appreciate every detail. Diffuse reflection allows us to know, for example, that this is a ball, and we can differentiate it from other objects. Now let's look at another property of light, refraction. Have you ever wondered why, when you put a straw in a glass of water, we see it differently than when it is outside water? This happens because of refraction. When light rays pass from one medium to another, for example from air to water, they change their speed and direction. This is how refraction happens. The light rays that reach an object are called incident rays, and the light rays that change their trajectory or velocity are called refracted rays. This property causes us to see objects differently, like when we look at an object through a magnifying glass. Refraction is the property we use to create lenses, which you can find, for example, in eyeglasses or camera lenses. 
Refraction is also the property that allows white light to be broken down into different colors. This phenomenon can be seen using a prism. When light rays reach the prism, they are broken down into different colors that make them up. Isaac Newton was the first to achieve this with an experiment done in the 17th century. Yes, it was that long ago! Can you think of any natural event where this phenomenon occurs? Rainbows are formed when sunlight passes through raindrops. Thanks to refraction, white light is converted into a colored beam containing red, orange, yellow, green, blue, and violet. Wow! We have learned so many interesting things about light, haven't we? I hope the next time you see a rainbow, you'll remember me! See you soon! We've learned so much in just one video! Did you know there are many more videos? Imagine how much you could learn! Subscribe to the Smile and Learn educational channel to learn and have fun at the same time.